we'd like to simplify this expression. It's sine of tangent inverse of x. Notice the little negative 1 signifying that this is tangent inverse. Now usually we don't plug functions into sine, we plug angles into sine. So I'm just going to call theta tan inverse of x. That's our angle in this case. Now by definition of these inverse functions, theta equals tan inverse of x, this means the same thing as x equals tangent theta. I sort of just do the flip, I reverse those things. That's how these inverse functions work. For simplicity here, I'll write x as x over 1. And the reason I wrote it like that is because Sokotoa, tangent is opposite over adjacent. If you like, you can draw a triangle and signify where your angle theta is. This is a right triangle, although maybe it's not the best drawing of one I've ever drawn. But we know now that the opposite of this angle is x, and the adjacent of this angle is 1, because tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now, you can find the third side, the hypotenuse, by using the Pythagorean theorem. This side squared plus this side squared has to be, if I call it c, this side squared. Or in other words, c, our hypotenuse, must be the square root of x squared plus 1 squared. 1 squared is 1. I'll just write it as 1. And so thank you very much, Pythagorean theorem. We now know what the hypotenuse of this triangle is. And that's all well and good, but what was our question? Our question was, what is sine of theta? Theta was this thing I called tangent inverse. So we now have that sine theta is the same sine theta as right here. I can just read off the sine of this triangle. Remember in Sokotoa, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so the opposite is x, and the hypotenuse we found is the square root of x squared plus 1. That is the expression. That's the simplified version of what we wanted to find. I hope you got something out of this video, and I hope you're having a great day.